Bananas are one of the earliest food fruit crops domesticated by man. India is the largest producer with 122 million tons, accounting for almost 22% of the global production. They also contribute to nutritional and economic security. Bananas and plantains are known for their antiquity and also interwoven with Indian culture and heritage. They are also considered as the symbol of prosperity and fertility. Owing to the high socio-economic significance and multifaceted uses, they are referred to as Kalpatharu, the plant of all virtues. Banana and plantains form the staple food of millions of people across the globe, providing a more balanced food than any other fruit or vegetable. As a desert fruit, it is filling, easy to digest, salt-free, fat-free, a rich source of carbohydrates, minerals and vitamins, and also valued for its therapeutic uses. India is one of the centers of origin for banana and plantains and exhibits a great diversity with more than 15 species and 50 to 60 varieties cultivated across the country. Globally, there are more than 40 wild species and 500 cultivated varieties. They are also classified as medicinal and therapeutic bananas, ornamental bananas, bananas with non-edible uses like fiber, alcohol, pulp, natural dyes, etc. All bananas exhibit a mild flavor, but some are unique with a strong flavor and are referred to as fragrant bananas. Other varieties like hill bananas, Manoranjitam, Ladin, Kali, Amrit Sagar, etc come under this fragrant group of bananas. The hill banana is a very unique member of the poem subgroup. Poem is a subgroup of bananas with the AAB genomic constitution which includes a large number of varieties grown from the mean sea level to high altitudes. Hill bananas, the Virupakshi and Sirumalai are the important members of the poem subgroup. Widely grown, only in the lower Palni Hills of Tamil Nadu. The Palni Hills of the Western Ghats is situated in Kodaikanal Thalu of Dindagal district. The altitude of the lower Palnis ranges from 1000 to 1500 meters above the mean sea level, separated from one another by steep wooded valleys. It enjoys a subtropical climate with temperatures ranging from 15 to 28 degrees Celsius, 1,200 to 1,500 millimeters rainfall, and a rich virgin soil. This has been the cradle for hill bananas since 1930. Hill bananas are an integral part of the multi-tier cropping system as a shade crop for coffee, along with silver oak, citrus, pepper, etc. They are mostly grown organically under the rain-fed system. It takes about 17 to 18 months to harvest and are maintained perennially. Each bunch weighs around 8 to 10 kgs with 5 to 6 hands and 70 to 80 fruits. Bunches are harvested at 90% maturity, hands are separated and packed for the local market. Each fruit fetches a minimum of 4 rupees and a bunch is normally sold for not less than 300 rupees. Hill banana cultivation is spread across the deep valleys and steep mountains of lower Palni Hills. The transportation of bunches after harvest to the market is a difficult task. The local farmers adopt traditional methods of transportation using ponies. They are so trained to carry the harvested bunches on their backs and walk straight to the local market. The owners are identified by the numbers on the package and payment is made accordingly. Hill bananas are kept in high esteem as a choice variety for offering to Lord Subramanya in Palni Hills, a famous pilgrim center for South Indians. The famous prasad, Panchamritam, is exclusively prepared using fragrant hill bananas. The sweet fruits, with a long shelf life, are used to make the panchamritam. Literally, it is a nectar made of ingredients like bananas, ghee, jaggery, sugar candy, 
honey, raisins and spices. The concoction is also offered to the deity and thus making hill bananas an integral part of the religious and cultural heritage of South Indians. During 1950-75, hill bananas occupied an area of 15,000 hectares with a daily harvest of almost 5 lakh fruits. This formed the basis of economic security of the people in lower Palni hills. Due to the perennial nature of the plantations in the hills, it became highly vulnerable for the build-up of viral diseases, especially banana bunchy top virus, fusarium built, and pests like pseudostemboras and corn weevils. Growers feel that climate change is an important factor contributing to the decline of this elite land race of Palni Hills. Earlier, lower temperature during November-February had greatly restricted the spread of the aphid, the vector spreading bunchy top virus. But rise in temperature in the hills has favored the buildup of aphids and disease spread to both conventional and new areas. All these problems posed a major threat to the cultivation of hill bananas. They brought down the area from 15,000 hectares in early 70s to less than 2,000 hectares by 90s. Realization of possible extinction of this unique land race called for concerted efforts with public-private partnership. The need for a stronger platform to address the problem of possible extinction resulted in the creation of Tamil Nadu Hill Banana Growers Federation in 2006 with an office at Patti Viran Patti of Tamil Nadu. During 2002-2006, a joint venture of the National Research Centre for Banana, Trichy, Tamil Nadu State Horticultural Department and Hill Banana Growers Federation was initiated. The federation helped farmers in the identification and removal of virus-affected clumps, access to virus-free suckers, regular plant protection measures for the control of vectors and borers, while NRCV Trichy was involved in the establishment and maintenance of disease-free mother nursery, standardization of tissue culture protocol for mass multiplication, virus indexing and supply of quality planting material. The state government supported in the form of providing incentives for the removal of virus-affected clumps, monitoring and guidance and worked as a link between NRCB and the Federation. Strict surveillance, compliance and commitment of the local hill banana growers has led to the rejuvenation of this unique, fragrant land race, resulting in a significant increase in its area from 2,000 to 5,000 hectares by mid-2006 and also its production. The fact that hill bananas grown in plains develop sourness and lacks flavor has led to the conferring of geographical indication status to Virupakshi and Sirumalai varieties in 2006. NRCB has been actively involved in the rejuvenation program of hill bananas along with the Federation. It has made its collection of Virupakshi and Sirumalai varieties in early 90s itself and maintained in the field gene bank. Another set is conserved in the in vitro gene bank of NRCB with a safety duplicate deposited with the National Bureau of Plant Genetic Resources, New Delhi. Virus indexing protocols developed at NRCB can detect all four major banana viruses like banana bunchy top virus, banana brack mosaic virus, banana streak virus and cucumber mosaic virus. NRCB is also involved in training the state government officials for visual diagnosis of virus affected plants, production systems, routine plant protection measures, etc. Regular farmer interaction meetings are also conducted in the lower Palni Hills. This has created 
an awareness about the importance of farmers' varieties and land races, their conservation and benefit sharing programs. Protection of plant varieties and Farmers' Rights Authority, New Delhi, has recognized the contribution of the Tamil Nadu Hill Banana Growers Federation towards conservation of hill bananas and has awarded them with a Plant Genome Savior Award for the year 2010-2011. Thank you for uh, congratulating us. This is a uh, recognition which uh, we as farmers are grateful to the government and to the concerned authorities. We are grateful to the National Center for Banana Research and uh, the Tamil Nadu Agriculture University who have been guiding us all through. Uh, we have had this problem since the late 1970s, the problem of bunchy top, where we were not sure what the disease was and uh, how it was spreading and uh, we had no clue whatsoever. At that time, Department of Horticulture and the scientists were very uh, useful in uh, doing a lot of research and identifying the vector which carried the virus. So once we knew it was a viral disease and how to control the aphids, which was the main vector, uh, we have been successful in controlling the bunchy top disease. The area under banana was dwindling and from approximately 40,000 hectares of agricultural land on these hills, it came down to almost uh, 2,000 hectares and we felt that we should preserve this hill banana, namely Virupakshi and Sirumalai, for the future generations. And on this basis, the Federation was formed. Uh, all of us were uh, responsible, along with uh, the scientists of uh, the National Research Centre for Banana and the Tamil Nadu Agriculture University. And after the association has been formed, the area and uh, hill banana has been uh, fast expanding. And uh, now, our principal aim, aim was to get disease-free planting material. NRCB and the uh, Tamil Nadu Agriculture University have been uh, guiding us, uh, thanks to these uh, scientists. Uh, we will be um, using the funds, the prize money which we will be getting, for further development of uh, hill banana. Once again, we are grateful to all the concerned scientists, officials, for recognizing us. And with these few words, I end my interview. Thank you. This has been a success story of people's involvement in preventing the genetic erosion of an important land race and its successful rejuvenation. It is also an excellent example of public-private partnership program aiming at the conservation of crop genetic resources. <laughs>